this is like a link list and there are different number of lists given and you need to sort sort it right uh sure so i think i've done a form of this problem before but because it's pretty it seems like it'd be pretty code heavy uh mm -hmm. i should be like th that does end up being the main part of the problem right so yeah. for the actual uh solution approach that i can take uh right off the bat when you talk about k items that would need some mm -hmm. ordering i think of a, of a heap and in this case a min heap so is that actually uh relevant so if i were to try and get the um say uh, put all of my k link lists into a heap, I should be able to, uh, you know, the head of them at least, so a single node, I should be able to find the minimum of that in, um, you know, constant time. And if I remove that item and put in a new item, that ends up taking log time, right? In order to figure out. My mm -hmm. alternative for putting all of the items into a heap is to just put them into a k length array. And then add all of my, uh, you know, look through the entire array for the minimum value. But uh, that might be simpler to code out, but the complexity is worse because I'd need to do a k time search, right, for the minimum instead of a log k search, uh, which is a pretty significant difference. Um, yeah, can you write some pseudo code by that way? We'll know how we can. Yeah, how you want how to make this work out. Sure, yeah. So, uh, yeah, the, the only thing is that when I have a min heap, and if I have these node values, uh, I think I need to implement uh, a less than operator just to make it work out. So I think we can have our node, and I can come back to this and actually just write the main logic. Um, one thing I didn't mention is that for the complexity for this, it would end up taking me, uh, what is it? the amount of time ends up being n, n log k, right? Uh, runtime complexity to merge all of the lists. Just because <clears throat> n times I'm going to need to take out uh, a min value out of the k lists, and each uh, time is going to take log k. So um, let's go ahead and say from heap q, import heapify, heap push, uh, heap pop. Cool. So we have our function, merge list, uh, we'll have our list. <clears throat> so I'm assuming that the uh, list array that we're given here is going to be our uh, just the head of each of our lists. So we're going to say that uh, our heap is just going to end up being uh, a list, and then we're going to run heapify. Uh, mm -hmm. inside of our heap, right? <clears throat> and uh, what we should care, what we should want to do is while uh, we have items in the heap, we should end up appending to some uh, result. Um, so we'll say we have a, uh, a reference, which is just going to be a node. And then we're going to say our uh, head is should end up being the um, uh, instead of head, we're going to say that we have a tail that we're going to be adding to, right? Is going to be just uh, at this point, I want to say none, um, but we're going to have uh, this isn't true. Uh, it, the very first time that we end up actually appending. Uh, or popping from the heap in order to get the smallest item, only that time we're going to, you know, um, update what the first element is, right? What ref next is going to be. <clears throat> so because that logic is really in the heap. So we say that our lowest is heap of zero. Uh, if, um, if our uh, uh, ref on next is none, means that the we haven't added our very first element so we're just gonna make this fix and say it's lowest uh, otherwise you would just have to append to the tail <clears throat> okay yeah right. i'm sorry heap means a list right 
Uh, uh, no, our heap is a, it's a min heap, right? Okay. It, it's so it's going to maintain the the heap invariant, and that the uh, uh, the very the zeroth index is always going to be the lowest value. And what I should be able to do after I get lowest is run heap pop on the heap, and that's going to get rid of the lowest item. Um, and then what I want to say that is if there's a next item, then I'm going to push onto the heap uh, the next lowest item. <clears throat> Heap. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, so I guess just to you know uh, explain what the existing code does before I finish it off is I'm just putting all of my uh, initial nodes um, mm -hmm. into a heap. So just to make sure that it's a copy, I make a separate list. Uh, I heapify. Um, I create a, a reference node that I'm going to use to refer to the head of my output later on. And uh, what I'm saying is, uh, my while I have this heap, I'm going to take the lowest item from the heap. I'm going to pop that item off of the heap. I'm going okay. to, uh, you know, set the uh, next item of lowest onto the heap if it exists. Otherwise, nothing's pushed onto the heap. And then I'm going to go ahead and um, update to my tail, right? Uh, my result. So uh, for actually updating the tail, it seems almost like I want to have, I'm just trying to avoid this off by one bug here, right? So um, when I don't have any item added, uh, all I'm saying is that ref.next is going to be lowest, right? But I also want to make the tail is equal to lowest. Uh, otherwise, what I want to say is that um, it's almost like the uh, current tail.next is going to equal lowest, right? And then tail is going to equal lowest. Uh, and all that's letting me do is update to the very end of the list, right? Um, okay. And at the very end, I just return the head. I think this ends up being pretty much uh, everything for the core logic. The main thing that I should have to do is uh, include the implementation of my node class. So I have uh, self, um, call it uh, val, and then uh, next, right? Except I can't use next. Next node, yeah. none. <clears throat> so self.val is equal to val. Next, next, next. Oops. Next node. And then I have to uh, implement the lesson function just so I can use a heap. So other return self dot val less than other dot val. Um, cool. Because I gave kind of an overview of what all the code is doing, is it okay if I uh, run this? Um, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Cool. So let's just have the same um, list that you had, which is going to be um, hmm, have, uh, five is equal to node five, four is equal to node of uh, four points to five, three is equal to node of oh. These are distinct lists though, right? Yeah. One, four. Um, we should be able to say that. Uh, five, one, three, four. <clears throat> Our second list is gonna end up being, let's say these are all unique values, just so it's easier for me to, uh, oh. Um, yeah, let's do initially unique value, and then maybe we can try if the values are overlapping. Yeah, I I, I actually didn't need unique uh, values. I just needed unique names. So instead of calling this four, I'll just call this four uh, two. So the node okay. of four twenty nothing, and then I have uh, three is equal to node of three pointing to four two. 
then I have uh, 1, 2 is equal to node of 1 pointing to 3, 1, 2. And then the final node I have is 6 and 2. 6 is equal to node of 6, and then 2 is equal to node of 2 pointing to 6. Cool. If I were to go ahead and run this, um, and it takes at least two arguments, only one given. Oh, uh, it's because it needs a default value. <clears throat> cool. Uh, then the final thing I think I'd want to do is just have a print def print list head head. <clears throat> Merged, and then we're going to print merged. Oh, strange. Oh, I said print instead of print list. Cool. So I have one, one, two, three, four, four, five, six. So this seems to work out uh, okay. And so for that main case, it's all right. The other things that I really need to consider are some edge cases. So what it could what I could end up getting is an empty list, right? Um, mm -hmm. In the case that I have an empty list, I know that my um, heap is going to be empty starting off. Uh, and so that entire while loop isn't going to run. My ref is just a node with zero and then none is the next. And so my final result is going to be none as well, which is what I imagine I would want. Um, and just to verify, I can run this <clears throat> on an empty list, and it should give me none. Uh, yeah, I'm assuming that um, I didn't have head at all, right? So while head didn't go through. Uh, cool. I think for so unique sorry, values, it's... Sorry for that empty list. Uh, what you did? Uh, if I had an empty list and I merged it, uh, I just gave back none as the result. Okay. Am I supposed to return something else? No, no, no. I'm just, I'm just seeing the output. Uh, what I need? Can you comment out the first two, the first test case, the first yeah, print? So, comment. Uh, it's not printing out anything because the while loop in print list doesn't run, right? Okay. So okay. It's printing nothing. Uh, okay. Okay. If I were to print, right. I think uh, this would show none correctly. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, if we were to have unique values, uh, this would run the same. And this test case already accounts for, uh, uh, you know, the the situation in which my my k length, my k lists aren't of equal length, right? So that that test case is also accounted for here. And if it turns out they're all of the same length, then it should be the exact same thing as well. Um, just because uh, the only thing we care about is whether they're on the heap or not, right? So given mm -hmm. that, I think that'll be my final solution.